desde rociar con gas pimienta a un hombre por filmar un arresto hasta golpear brutalmente a mujeres, mira cómo a este grupo de policías corruptos les quitan sus insignias cuando se creen más grandes de lo que son. Este es el oficial del Cuerpo Metropolitano de Las Vegas, Richard Scavone. Y si crees que su foto es ridícula, espera a verlo en acción. El 6 de enero de 2015, Amanda Ortiz estaba parada afuera de un hotel cuando Richard llegó con mala actitud y comenzó a gritar como un energúmeno. Responderle a la policía debe ser un crimen ahora, porque no creerás lo que Richard le hizo a la mujer esposada. Sí, este hombre fuerte también tenía una rodilla en su cuello y apenas estaba comenzando. You finish hiding me? Are you finished or no? Yes! Stand here, shut up. Understand me? Or no? I heard you. Don't move. What else you want to do, tough guy? Go ahead and take me to jail. That's all I want you to do. You got it. What do you got here? That's fine. Don't touch my breath. Damn, what the fuck? Ever pull away from me. ¿Nunca me jales? ¿Quién se cree este tipo que es? Y luego lo empeora todo mucho más. Después de básicamente manosear a Amanda, para colmo fue arrestada y acusada de arrojar basura y merodear. Richard continuó defendiendo sus acciones al aire. Como si eso lo justificara. Afortunadamente, nadie creyó su pequeña historia. During that review, uh, we determined that the force that Officer Scavone used was not only excessive, but it was also unreasonable. In federal, las acusaciones contra Amanda fueron naturalmente retiradas. Sabes qué más fue retirado? Richard fue expulsado de la fuerza y acusado de violar los derechos civiles, agresión menor y presentar un informe falso, lo que le valió un año entre rejas y otro año de libertad supervisada. La guinda del pastel es que cuando salga, tendrá que pagar una multa de 20 mil dólares y ya no podrá trabajar como oficial de la ley. Un final apropiado para un policía corrupto, pero esa no es la única vez que un policía ha terminado su carrera en un solo día. Estos dos recibieron su despido por la broma más estúpida de todas. Pero antes de eso, el 15 de agosto de 2020, el oficial de policía Blake Shimanek detuvo a Dillon Puente por una infracción de tráfico. Pero cuando Dillon decidió subir un poco su ventana, lo cual no es un delito, los sentimientos del oficial resultaron heridos. Hey, roll your window back down. What's up? 
My name is Sergeant Schmont, Co. Police Department. Green is being stopped today. You made a wide right turn. You turned from 1709 to 377. Any reason why you rolled your window up when I walk up to this car? No, sir. You had been driving it down for the past mile. I just rolled it up. All right, step out of the car for me. Step out. Do not shut that window. Open it now. Step out. Right here. Face that direction. Face that direction. Put your hands right here behind your back. Don't move. Do you understand? Why are you acting so suspicious? Because I'm here. Well, what, you're on your window up, and I'm walking up on scene for a routine traffic stop. Ain't nothing going on. You roll your window up. What does that look like to me? I mean, I'm just rolling it up because uh, it's my, for my safety. For your safety? Yeah. No. Nothing. I roll up hey. my window. Take off. That's my dad. No, sir. Yeah. I rolled, I rolled up my window. 320, give me a unit code now. And he got mad because I rolled up my window. Step right here. I rolled it up. Back Step up. right feet. Yeah. You're about to be arrested for blocking the roadway if you don't park and get out. I rolled, park and get out. I rolled park up over there. I said I can. It's my right. You are interfering with my job. You need to go park over there. I rolled up my window like you said. It was my right to roll up my window. No, it's not. El papá de Dillon tenía su teléfono afuera para mantener un ojo en lo que estaba sucediendo. De nuevo, esto no le sentó bien al policía. Después de esposarlo por sospecha de subir su ventana, Blake seguía y seguía atorado con lo de la ventana. Are you acting like this? I'm just nervous, man. Look, okay, it's a routine traffic stop, all yes. right? I've never met you before. Yes, I know. And then the first thing you do is you roll up your window like that. Okay? I thought it was allowed, so we can roll up my window and hand what, out my license. To you. How do you think it would look to me if you're rolling up your window when you walk up? I guess suspicious a little bit. Suspicious. Yes. So. It's even more suspicious, right? You've been cruising. It's a hot day. You've been cruising right through your window down. Yes, sir. And the first thing I do when I walk up is you roll your window up. Yes, sir. Then I say step out of the car, and then you proceed to roll your window up all the way. And I can, well, I can I no longer see you. I can ro roll my window and then shut the door and lock it. That's by what who? I was told. By, by who? My dad. Okay. By the, the law, the government. Okay. When you're doing that, you're taking away. I can't see anything, mm -hmm. apart from the fact it's it's it, it's rude. I, it, it's rude, is it not? I'm trying to have a yes. conversation with you. You roll up the window and I'm trying to do my job. Marco regresó para grabar el arresto de su hijo y ahí es cuando el oficial Blake perdió definitivamente el control. Oh, you're taking away. Just watch him. Yep. Better yet. Arrest him. For what? For blocking the roadway. Blocking the roadway? Yep. Sit down right here. Sit down right here. Sit down. Hey, can sit, you? sit down. El hijo arrestado por subir su ventana, el papá a punto de ser arrestado por grabar, esto no podría empeorar, ¿verdad? You stopped right here in the middle of the roadway. You got this on video. This guy's arresting me for just standing here. And now he's taking my phone away. Dude, dude oh my God. Hey, you got a guy. Dude, what is Video from the corner. Stay away. Video from the corner. What the heck, man? Dude, this ground is hot. We'll get you off it as soon as we get you these cuffs. That was totally unnecessary. Oh, man. Sir, please move back to the corner. If you have any questions, we'll talk to you in a minute. A medida que llegaban más oficiales, la historia de Blake iba cambiando. I said, whoa, what are we doing this for? He's acting extremely nervous. Mm -hmm. So, who is this? I don't know. Oh. 
probably. Um, do you have a towel or anything? Oh, he just not, not to give him. Okay. Just go ahead and hey, if he's trained, if he's been searched. Hey, who's she? Who's she? Okay, go ahead and take him to the jail. Get now. Wait, tell him we'll detox him at the jail. Get him to the jail. Um. So kids act nervous as can be. I said, buddy, step out of the car. Keep your seat, start rolling with the car. And I thought he was gonna drive off on me. Pull the door open, step, he steps out, no issue. I'd go to detain him. Dad is cruising on the road, stop the middle of the road. I said, leave, you leave, you leave. He's feeding son, no, this is neighbor that lives over here. He's feeding uh, son, telling him what to do. And I said, and I said, no, no, sir, you need to leave. I said, sir, if you don't, if you don't leave, I said, you're gonna be detained for, uh, for blocking the roadway here. And, So then he proceeds to back up all the way, parks over there. Su informe tenía aún más mentiras si cabe para respaldar su arresto ilegal. Pronto quedó claro el motivo de toda esta detención. So you're being stopped for the truck stop. Wide right turn. That's all that is, all right? Any reason you are acting this suspicious about what is in the car today or what is on you? There's nothing on me. Do you understand why that's extremely suspicious and concerning to me? I thought it was my right to roll my window. You can roll the window up, sure. Yeah, I was going to crack it. So okay. That's what I was trying to do. And then you okay. got mad and tried to pull your gun on at me. I didn't, did I pull my gun on my holster? No, but you, you put your hand on it. I walk up to every truck stop with my hand on my holster, all right? So if I, if, would you have any issues with me searching your vehicle today? No, but I don't want you to. This is my right. You're correct, sir. It is your right. It is your right. But if I walk back up to that car without searching it, and if I smell marijuana, that's not going to be good for you. Do you understand that, sir? Okay. Yeah. Cuando Dillon se negó a permitir que Blake registrara el auto, el oficial encontró una manera de entrar. Kid right now is only detained. He's in the back of my car. We've had a very lengthy conversation. He's been reasonable. I'm quite certain there's narcotics in the car, so I think I'm going to arrest him for the wide right turn. He's got a history of narcotics. He's he was telling me, give me all sorts of clues, so I think I'm going to arrest him for the wide right turn. Before we went go any farther, the uh, some of the neighborhood had come out, was already outside. They approached us in the middle of the uh, affecting the arrest and the use of force. They were videoing this. There's one gentleman over here, white male, wearing a, I think it's a white uh, t-shirt or white long sleeve shirt. He's already making claims about wanting to call the news, and he was videoing everything. And I think the female that arrived on scene, I haven't talked to her, but I believe that is. I to, I'm going to go notify him officially he's in custody, and I'm going to begin the search and inventory of his vehicle. The father's vehicle is the single cab older model F-150. So he had left the vehicle when the incident, well, He left the vehicle whenever he was taken into custody on the sidewalk over here, but it is part of the crime scene. So now that he's in custody, I believe we need to take care, take that vehicle as well, correct? It's 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 behind this one. It's it's parked on the next street. It, it's parked in front of a driveway, but it's parked in front of the driveway of the gentleman that is videoing us claiming to call the news. Claramente, Blake esperaba encontrar algo en el auto de Dillon para respaldar lo que había hecho. Pues bueno, mira que buscó y rebuscó, pero no encontró nada de nada. Por tanto, no tuvo más opción que enfrentar las consecuencias. Al principio, este policía corrupto fue degradado de sargento a oficial de patrulla, pero pronto se vio obligado a renunciar. Y eso no fue el final. Blake fue acusado de opresión oficial y no puede trabajar ya en aplicación de la ley en Texas. En cuanto al padre y al hijo, los cargos fueron retirados, las multas fueron reembolsadas y la familia recibió un acuerdo de 200 mil dólares. Una cosa es descontrolarse porque eres un agente sucio, pero otra muy distinta es cuando simplemente eres despiadado. Nuestros dos siguientes oficiales se llevan el premio con esto. Es posible que hayas oído el nombre de Brian Wilson antes. Era el sucio policía corrupto que hackeó las cuentas de Snapchat de 20 mujeres y las chantajeó a todas con fotos privadas. Pero aunque no lo creas, esa no fue la única vez que Brian fue noticia. Prehensible and sickening. Those were the words used by LMPD in 2022 after two officers pleaded guilty to violating the rights of citizens. Locally, the scandal became known as Slushy Gate after at least 24 innocent civilians had slushies like this thrown at them. Entre 2018 y 2019, el oficial metropolitano de Louisville, Brian Wilson, y su compañero Kurt Flynn 
estaban uniformados conduciendo por la ciudad, realizando bromas estúpidas como un grupo de adolescentes tontos. Hey, baby, you got change for a How about a drink? No estás viendo secuencias random. Estos policías realmente se filmaban adrede lanzando bebidas heladas a la gente para reírse, y no fue algo aislado. <risa> Ahora bien, lo que estamos presenciando ni siquiera es lo peor. Otros oficiales lo sabían porque estos dos compartían los vídeos con ellos. En otras ocasiones, los agentes los seguían para verlos en acción. Cuando Brian y Kurt no tenían bebidas heladas, no tuvieron miedo de improvisar. Brian y Kurt se declararon culpables por violar derechos civiles esperando salirse con la suya con una provisional. Pero nadie se selló sus tonterías, ni siquiera el juez. Kurt fue condenado a tres meses de prisión y tres años de libertad supervisada. Gracias a su acoso cibernético, Brian fue condenado a dos años y medio de prisión y tres años de libertad supervisada. Otros cinco oficiales que estuvieron involucrados fueron suspendidos temporalmente. Al menos, tendrán suficiente tiempo para reflexionar sobre lo que hicieron en el calabozo. Podrías pensar que estos castigos mantendrían a los policías corruptos a raya, pero piénsalo de nuevo, ¿ya lo has hecho? Bien, conoce pues al oficial de policía de Surfside Beach, John Gambon, quien no tolerará ayudar bajo ningún concepto a animales heridos. She won't let us get him out of there. Sin embargo, el karma estaba llegando para alcanzarlo. El 8 de agosto de 2021, Jessica Melton estaba en el asiento del pasajero del auto de su novio cuando el oficial de policía de Surfside Beach, John Gambon, hizo una parada de tráfico. Aunque no era necesario, Jessica entregó su identificación y no pasó mucho tiempo antes de que el oficial regresara y no era algo bueno. You know you got a warrant for your arrest? Do what? You no, know, there's a warrant for your arrest up on out. For what? Excuse me? Do 
What? Step out the car. Put your purse down. Turn around for me. What? Turn around for me. Relax. Wow. It's for a what? Your arrest. I'll tell for you what? in a second. Wow. Stop. Cut it out. I'm not. Don't move. What do you? Can I get? Stop. My God. Stop. My purse. I'll get it for you. It's right there. Now cut it out. I'm going to take you down the ground and hurt you if you don't stop. You, you understand me? Right there. You understand me? Amenazar a alguien que apenas se resiste es una cosa, pero lo que sucedió después fue mucho peor. Stop right now. I will take you down the ground face first. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Do you understand? Down the ground. I ain't playing. She just got tossed now. Si te preguntas por qué estaba tan callada, es porque John la golpeó contra el suelo tan fuerte que perdió el conocimiento por un momento. Come on, sit up. Sit up. Sit up, relax. That's the way it goes, man. I didn't do it on purpose. She went down on the ground. That's where she went. I'm not going to argue with you. Por supuesto, John tendría problemas para discutir con el departamento de policía. Así pues, lo expulsaron del cuerpo en el momento en que ella presentó una demanda. Pero eso no fue todo. También fue arrestado y acusado de asalto en segundo grado, agresión y mala conducta en el cargo. Sí, amigos, el naranja le sienta bien. Lo increíble es que esa no fue la única vez que un policía perdió los estribos y golpeó a una mujer. La peor parte es que la siguiente mujer era mayor y esposada. El 20 de mayo de 2023, la policía de Loveland recibió llamadas al 911 informando que Angelia Hall, de 59 años, estaba deambulando por la calle, hablando sola y entrando y saliendo del tráfico. There is, but I you're... can't walk along and sing a song. See, I have the full volume. Perfect. So well, I can we can't get out of walk the roadway, along. Then? Not oh, on the road. Walk, oh, you know oh. what I mean? So I'm getting told that you're like out in the roadway. Oh, okay. Can, oh, can you stop? Pero cuando el oficial Nick Hobbs la confrontó, tenía algunos puntos válidos que hacer. Can, oh, can you stop with you. me and just talk with There's you just no for a second? There's no sidewalk. I know. I so get where that. where do a sidewalk go? Where you... can I be? Where well, I can just, see the full volume? Don't you see? So where are the sidewalks? Where am I supposed to be? Where is the mark of the deceived? You just don't want to walk in the, in the traffic where, where you get hit by a car. Well, then where should I be? Well, where do you live? There's nowhere for me to be. You don't okay. have no design, no degree. Well, let's stay out of the roadway, right? You oh, don't want to get hit. Oh, out of the roadway, okay. There is, ma'am. What's going on? Where do you live? Oh, oh ma'am. If you gave me a sidewalk, I guess I'd have to. Could you to just sit start. down for me and talk with me, please? <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am, do you have an ID? I'm just walking, singing a song, dude. I got you, but you're okay. you're walking in the roadway. Well, okay, but there's no sidewalk, is there? You. But if you're walking on a 287, there's no you get sidewalk, hit is there? I was crossing the. Eso no impidió que Nick la siguiera y le hiciera más y más preguntas. For you, ma'am. What can I call you? Doesn't what's your mean. What's your name? Angelia. 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 Am what's I saying that right? Name? Officer Hobbs. My first name's Nick. Yeah. yeah. Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah. Nicholas. But I go by either one, Nicholas. right? People call me both. So, what Nicholas. can I do to help you out? Hey, I'm just gonna go my way. I'm just okay. gonna take a breath. Sure. I got Is the it, can I give you a ride somewhere? The fifth element. Can, do you think hmm. I can give you a ride somewhere? Well, I don't think so, yeah, unless you have a cigarette. I don't have any cigarettes. I, so, I, I don't smoke. I don't think you can help me, and that's a very good deal. Sorry, I'm I working on that way. Trying to quit? Are you trying to quit smoking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. I had a year in. But okay, I got you. It's better than a lot of other things. True. My dad Maybe. smoked for a long time, so mm -hmm. I don't think it's that big of a deal. My mom just died, so. Where are we going, sir? 
ma'am. I don't Let know me help you. your way. I'm just walking. I know you're just I walking. Is there some problem with that? I can't walk in freedom this you day. You can, just but you're walking getting, along. You're walking in front of cars, and I don't want that to happen. You got a problem, dude. You come to me face and face. I'm just walking. I so got you. You're walking. Este nuevo oficial en la escena es el policía novato Russell Maranto y de inmediato comienza a abusar de su autoridad. Do you have an idea on you? I'm just walking. Okay. What have I done wrong? Let traffic. go of me. Multiple times. No, I'm not. I'm walking You're through. Now, but it took us a minute to do I'm walking through. Are you willing to work with me? Oh, well, I'm walking through. Get your hands off. At this point, you're being detained. Get off of me for Place what reason? You f disease. Seeds. You. No freedom left. Angelia fue llevada a un hospital para una evaluación adicional y no estaba contenta con eso. Hey, I'm walking and he's pushing me. Hey. I am walking okay. just gently and he's pushing me because he can't take the truth. I'm just walking and he's pushing me a little fucking half white shit. Fucking shit. Yeah, I'm just walking and pushing me. Did you see that? I want the video brought down now. I was walking and walking along. Since you're asking Angelia, you don't fucking speak for me, you Margarado fucking piece of shit. Okay, let's watch she the language. She said Angelia, you piece Angelia, of shit. Angelia, I will not tolerate yeah. that language. Well, I will tell you I'm not tolerating that I can't walk down the street. Por más malo que esto parezca, la cosa estaba a punto de empeorar mucho más. Hey, I can have it. Why can't I have a piece of paper? Then take my pants off too. Take my shirt off. Give me my piece of paper. Why can't I have it? Hey. Why can't I have the paper, you piece of shit? Angelia. Enjoy the fifth element. You wouldn't even know you. My piece of so to I'll tell you what way. brings me in here today. Do I was walking down do not, the street. Yeah, I will not tolerate and that. Come up. You can calm yourself down. I will not tolerate that. Put a handcuff on me. As you see, they took a piece of paper right out of my hand. Two. Can't even took a piece of paper right out of my hand. Just instigating me. Authority. Fucking ass. Why fucking... They're fucking This will go a lot smoother. Even me. You me. Really? You handcuffed me, you asshole. My paper back. Yeah, see how he instigates. Can you speak to me then if you don't like him? Golpear a una mujer esposada. Claro que sí. Muy bien, novato Russell. Encima, Angelia no se lo estaba tomando bien tampoco. I want a video of that. I want a video of that. Sit down. I want si estos dos pensaban que su supervisor los respaldaría, estaban verdaderamente equivocados. From the beginning, so Just what you witnessed from like when you got here, I already you know, you know why she's here and all that. I'm assuming that she was she was in traffic. We got a ton of callers about it. She's blocking cars off of 287 in um, like Origins area. Um, Ronto gets there. Uh, he places her in um, protective custody and we gather things. Transport her. She's just rambling a whole bunch, cussing, being very verbal and cooperative. But I do believe he was. In, acting in a way of trying to not let her spit on him anymore. I need to find out who all was in the room when your, that incident happened. Him. Yeah. That part. It was just made, me and him. Just nursed. The, you, from, from your observation, do you believe what he did was excessive or considered excessive? 
I mean, she, so, she just spit on him, right? And I probably made him a little mad. I, I mean, who wouldn't, right? And then I, I think he was ultimately just trying to get her face all, like to the side, but I mean, I think it was a little hard, yes. Como si todo esto no fuera suficientemente grave, este supervisor estaba a punto de escuchar algo que lo dejaría sin palabras. Chargers, are we looking at for her? I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just been dealing with her the whole time, so I don't know what's going on with that. Increíblemente, amigos, no había motivo alguno para el arresto en absoluto. En lo que probablemente fue el despido más rápido de la historia, Russell se quedó sin trabajo solo tres días después de este incidente. También se le imputaron cargos por agresión en tercer grado. Al menos, eso le enseñará a no golpear a personas indefensas. Llegados aquí, ¿acaso no has visto este otro incidente? Yo no me lo perdería, ¿eh?